Some say it's irrational, we say it's fun. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it from here. I would not even tell my mom. I do that, yeah. Yes, I'm damn proud. <laughs> So I know you guys are dying to know, Roland just kind of mentioned that the wheels might be an option. Let's go and go put some pressure on him and find out if it's really gonna happen. Okay, I give you something. We really think about doing the bike in a way that you can have different wheel sizes and go in different directions. I'll take it, I'll take it. There you go. It, the architecture is built to have different wheel sizes on the production bike. To build a feeling in a bike, it's nothing what you can describe in numbers. There is no measurement. This is something what you have to have in your heart, in your soul. The tiefe Schwerpunkt, the motor characteristic, that it has a very good Drehmoment. It's a super competitive, super modern and a highly emotional engine concept. It does way more than what anybody could ever imagine. And then you start the engine and then you ride. And as soon as you hit the first gear and you start to accelerate, then there is something coming through your body. Yeah, I mean, I feel this energy vibration and heritage. A besonderheit and a kleines Kunstwerk. Innovative, performing, and actually a mechanical sculpture. I love this. Here we are in Munich. I'm in some random dude's shop in the countryside of Germany. Not what I expected, but pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, I was expecting kind of a big warehouse or something. Helmut? I feel, I feel kind of at, at home here. Growing up with my dad in the garage, uh, this is, feels a little bit more my speed, a little bit more my pace. Hello, sir. <laughs> Good to see you. Hello, servus, grüß dich. You have already a job, right? He's always busy. Busy yeah. man, yeah. Yeah, people always call him. The lads, okay. And I hold it quickly. So like, I, this is like a little countryside cottage. I wasn't, yeah, I was expecting kind of actually, like a big production here. This is kind of his, his shops here. Right. That's pretty cool. Right. Doesn't look like a shop. Oh, well, yeah. Wow. Let's see. Holy cow. It is a special place. You know, it's about quality, not quantity. Yeah, seriously. You, I wasn't expecting to see all this heavy machinery in like yeah, this little yeah. countryside. I mean, this is, he will explain us later yeah. when he's coming back but this what he's doing it's amazing and yeah. that's why we really uh, come to him so you guys kind of like send special projects and stuff his way or? yeah he's always like a little helper in the background he's your secret very, very secret cool. weapon kind of situation yeah. <laughs> this is cool yeah. hey oh daddy <laughs> oh Was ist denn schon wieder los? Ich schätze, dass die Erregerspring vom Zündungsgeber kaputt ist. Wenn ich warm bin, dann gibt es einen Windungsschluss. Also unterm Fahren ist Ausgang. Genau. Okay. Servus, Alter. Servus, Alter. Wenn wir doch den Vorbeifahren, dass ich echt gehen kann. Ja, check it out. Der Helmet ist, you know, a wizard in this small little shop in the countryside, uh, fine-tuning this. You know, he walked us through his workshop here and how he fine-tunes and, and crafts that motor. Take a look at this. Oh, okay. This is it. <laughs> this is heritage. <laughs> this is really heritage. Let's eat lunch. All this, all these machines making me hungry. You know? Uh, cheese pepperoni? Cheese real, pepperoni. real American, I guess, so to say. Cheese pepperoni. I oh, pineapple. Else. You guys do it the true Italian way in Germany. They don't <laughs> cut it. But I gotta say, I think I'm gonna retire here. I'm falling in love. It's a really good balance of just 
beautiful sprawling greens. He's got his little workshop here, which I'll walk you through, you guys. You go from hardened steel and metal inside of a little workshop to a cool countryside backyard. My mom would love this place. Morning, sir. Hey. How, How are you? Good to good see you. So, Tommy, now we are in the really top secret area. These okay. are the, where we do all the development and testings and so really the, the core, let's say. Of so the this is kind of like the test facility for BMW Motor. Right, right. You have a lot of engineers here inside and you have all these testing, the test benches, like for chassis, for engine, all different areas. And where we go now is like where we test the, the, the engine. Oh, cool. Let's, let's see it. Look, it's exciting, yeah. yeah. It's like a bolt in here. <laughs> wow, look at this. Here we've got it. So this is the actual R18 motor, correct? This is the actual R18 motor, like we had it in uh, the concept bike. In the concept bike, right. And uh, so basically here on the dyno we make our... Uh, so uh, this, this is like a dyno bench, basically. This is an engine dyno base, uh, bench. Yes. So what do you guys do here specifically? Uh, specifically, we make uh, for sure power this. So okay. that's uh, one of the first things everybody knows. Right. Uh, but also here especially is equipped with some uh, extra measurement tools. Uh, so you uh, kind of go through all the basic principles yeah. of what you would be doing yeah. in, outside in the world. Yeah. This thing looks like it's all bolted up and all wired up to fire. So it's, it so would be my ready my to start it up. My oh, we can see it run. If you start it that, yeah. Yeah, you can start the engine, Tom. Oh, it's your job. Now. Okay, Come all right. Yeah. I'll drive. Yeah, you can yeah. take over the responsibility. <laughs> Just as long as it's not like a break it, you bought it type of situation. Now, now it's in your hand, so it's an easy job. Okay. Uh, start button starts the engine. So. Right. Just a moment. Can you feel okay. it? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I can feel it from here. <laughs> Watching these guys talk about the intricacies, Kurt showing us all the different data and stuff on the computer screen and how they fine tune the, the motors there behind, uh, you know, in that dyno room and they can make small little uh, changes and stuff based off of what they need to see the motor to do. So this is what it looks like with the motor, inside of the motor, how it, what it's running basically. Yeah, yeah. that's what the motor, and inside the motor, yeah. There we've got some special and s it's much it's more information. That's uh, uh, where we control basically the ECU. Okay. So that the engineer sits and can really communicate online with the ECU, make adjustments. So you can make real-time adjustments real -time to the motor from, from in here. Yeah. So after that data is kind of worked through, what happens next? For, uh, the, for, the, for the boxer motor, I should say. For the boxer motor itself, uh, basically then we've got uh, uh, all the basic setups that we can go into a bike. Oh. and basically ride it on the streets. So after leaving the diner room, we went to kind of the main workshop and saw the R18 motor just sitting there on a table. The detail that went into not just building the motor, but keeping it clean and simple and smooth. So Tommy, this is the heart. This thing is massive. <laughs> this is our design icon number one. The sculpture, we said. You know, this is 1800cc airhead, air-cooled in, uh, I mean, some say it's irrational. We say it's fun. And it's never been done before, <laughs> right? No. These, these header pipes, what, I mean, these things are just massive. I mean, these look like they're special header pipes. Too. It's, it's special header pipes. It's double walled uh, header pipes. So basically, it's chromed that you, uh, that you don't change color so by you, temperature. So you won't get any bluing on the header you pipes? Don't, uh, you will not get any bluing on the header pipes. Then we really went back to the star nuts. Yeah. But it's not a fake star nut. So it's really it's the part which holds uh, the that. head. It's, yeah. it, it's aesthetically pleasing, but it still has a true function to it. Yeah. Yeah. So that was always the target, also to fulfill yeah. a technical function and not uh, to be fake. I was working with this project from the first day on, yeah. and we always had this dream, and now you see the dream come true. So this gives me goosebumps right now if I talk about pretty, it. Is it pretty cool to see something go from probably like a sketch to yes. reality? Yes. Yeah. 
And there are so many details, like the shaft drive is nickel plated. It's not chrome. In the past, it used to be nickel plated. So we took care on so many little details. So, so this is just one more piece of this yes. bike that takes a cue from the past and puts it into the, into right. the present or into right. the future. Right. That's why we uh, took all the effort also to make it happen again. So, yes, I'm damn proud. <laughs> <laughs> The most important thing of a motorcycle is the engine, next to the stance, of right. course. But this is something what we had in our mind from the beginning on. And it's a boxer motor, so it's one of those iconic pieces yes, that you yes. see within BMW's full history. The boxer is BMW. We had a, a lot of talks also to people from different countries, uh, especially the US and, and other states, yeah. and everybody said the same thing. They love the boxer motor. You're the boxer company. Yeah. So uh, for us, it was less crystal clear yeah. to, to pick the boxer engine. Right. So we thought, OK, with 1800cc, we are at the right size. That's a big motor. It is a big motor, especially if you sit on a bike and see the motor in front of you. <laughs> it's so impressive. And you talked about the characteristic when you start the engine, when you hit the gas, you always have a little bit of gas. Like, yeah. uh, it's really there it's and there. you really feel it. Yep. And so this is something which gives you like a ba -ba -ba -ba. You can feel it in the heart. <laughs> yeah, it's the heartbeat yeah, of the bike. Right, you can definitely right. feel it. So I know that there's a saying in the States, the elephant in the room, we'll call it the motorcycle in the room. And the question that probably everybody is wanting to ask, when is the R18 going to come to market? Well, what if, we just shut, would, what if we just shut the cameras off? Can you tell me that? I would not even tell my mom. <laughs> I really got to learn a lot of things today. And seeing behind the curtain really showed me all of the thought, details, and passion that goes into building Boxer Motors. Uh, it was really cool to meet Roland and then getting to meet Lazzo and Helmet and just seeing all of the different generations kind of going into one simple machine that's been around for nearly almost 100 years. So be sure to check out next month's episode where we dig into the design of the motorcycle. We're going to sit down with Edgar, who is the head of design of BMW Motorrad and we really look at the, all of the details that go into the designing process of the R18. It should be really fun, and pretty much every time we've met Edgar, he always gives us a little bit more information or some top secret stuff uh, that's really exciting. So, there's an R19 parked outside, and I'm pretty sure there's a spa in my hotel, so I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>